What is up guys, it is Nick, we are back, and it's a little bit later in the day, I had some stuff to do today, um, played some wagers with a friend in Call of Duty, so my day's been a little bit different than normal, but uh, gotta be a little bit quieter, so probably sitting up a little bit closer to my mic than you guys are used to, but uh, it's decently late at night, it's 1240, you guys will get this around 2 a.m., and then hopefully I'll have a video out at the regular time tomorrow. I have nothing going on then except a uh, four-hour shift that i got to go in to work and uh, do some paperwork and all that different stuff. But, uh, yeah, let's get into this. I did pick up a new outfit. I picked up the Steampunk. Now, in full disclosure, I'll go to the Lumina shop and show you. You guys can see I have a bunch of Lumina because I wanted to... I, I didn't know how this worked. I wanted this right here. So I wanted to get to Prestige 8 and get this. I wanted this red Hawthorne costume. But I... So I was level 5. Okay. And then I was looking at it and I was like, Oh, okay. What if I spend 100 bucks? So I spent $100. And it only got me to Prestige 6. So then I was like, okay, well, not getting to Prestige 8 anytime soon. But uh, with that, I was able to pick up the Steampunk bundle. Um, there's not a whole lot else in here that you really need. There is some, uh, let's see here. Um, if you're gonna buy anything else, I believe boosters. Actually, where is it? There's like an expansion slot. Uh, there it is. So here we go. Uh, the space saver pack here. I'm not gonna pick it up, but it gives you account, personal, and bag storage expansions, which are kind of nice. But... For today's episode, we are level 10 now. We need to progress up levels uh, at this point. I am a little bit overmatched. As you can see, our main quest is Battle on the Prairie. It's 316 gear score. My current gear score is 230. You can see the Veteran Mage's Wand there, plus 4. Standard Issue Magic Orb. We just need to get better equipment is pretty much what I am saying to you. Uh, and so that's what we're going to work on right now. We're going to work on getting better equipment and getting more money. So we're going to try to complete all the quests that I have here that are built up. And we're just going to talk about a little bit of different stuff as we go. So I did pick up a weapon fortification stone. So that comes in handy here to start this off because, well, with a weapon fortification stone, I can actually... Um, I can actually upgrade my wand again, and hopefully, I believe that can take my wand to a whole nother level. Uh, I can take it to the blue rarity, but we're just going to be going through all of these, completing what we can. Um, I want to see if there are any ones that I have actually completed that we can just turn in. Deliver, yeah, so this one right here, that's one that we can complete. And I believe this is one we can complete as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and go and find the uh, blacksmith or whatever, the enchanter, so that we can increase our wand. Uh, I do need to get more damage on this bad boy. So, yeah. I also went ahead and picked up a new skin for my um, uh, staff. It's called the Victorious Staff. Uh, I liked it a little bit more than that one, so since I bought those Lumen, going for that outfit. The whole point of getting that outfit was because then I would be different. Um, in hindsight, probably not the best idea to spend money for that reason, but uh, yeah, I don't think many people are going to have that gear right now, so that was the whole point was to get that gear. Now, where the heck is the thing? Oh, here we go. Equipment specialist. common items so now we can upgrade this that puts us to there and then equipment upgrade stone we can get it to blue which will get it to 726 oh, i don't have enough of the stupid little shard things it's the same thing down here i don't have enough of the like gold things um i need 600 of those so eventually i'll be able to get this thing to rare right now we just don't have enough to get either of them to rare um, so that's, that's fine, but we will get that thing upgraded here in the near future. But, we do have these two quests that we can complete, so let's go to the, uh, fast travel station and see if we can get these two quests completed. That will help a little bit. Uh, so what did that bring my gear score up to? Six. It's, so it increased it by six, so we're at 236, which is not too bad. 
we're back here at the Star Seed Exchange. So while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and do my Star Seed Exchange for the day. Um, and then let's go ahead and use this. So, I believe those were level 11 and 12 quests. So I'm just trying to look here and see where those turn-ins were. So I think, uh, yes, so here's one of them. So we're going to go ahead and fast travel here uh, for 167 gold. Have the nice discount. I did pick up the Valor pack uh, because I'm going to give this a really good shot for 90 days. So I might as well pick that up. I also have some double like, or 50%, so 150% uh, XP tokens as well. So I've been using those. Um, level 10, still not where I need to be, obviously, for the location that I'm at. But hopefully we can progress and get there. So we have Farmer Galopa here. So we can go ahead and turn this in. Not sure how much experience this is worth. Uh, 5,000, so not actually too bad of an experience right there. So now we need to find the other one, and then we'll go ahead and complete some other quests in this video. Uh, it's a level 12 quest. So is it over here? There was one spot that I probably should have shown. Oh, is it right here? Nope. Uh, is it... Huh. Level 12 quest. Where would that be? 10, 5, 2, 8, 8, 8, 6, 14. Okay. Let me select it and then I'll. It, oh, it's a level 10 quest. It gives me 13,000 XP, so it is over that way. So should be able to look on the map, so it's over this way. Ah, uh, right here, I bet. Yes, so let's go here, and then... Oh, I don't want to use star seeds on that. Can I go here? Oh, it's all star seeds. I guess it's because I'm probably... Eh, it's fine, whatever, use the star seeds. I have 21,000. I know they're kind of rare, but I do have a decent amount of them, and I can always go and exchange gold for star seeds every day. I just need to remember. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn this quest in. And then we can probably start working on some of the other quests to start today's video. But yeah, I'd love to get to like level 13. I don't even know if that's like feasibly possible doing these side quests. But it's kind of what I need to do at this point. Um, I just don't have a lot of the necessary gear that I need. So I believe it's this one. I did. And should be, yeah, so 13,000 XP. Uh, weapon fortification, armor fortification, and potions of recovery, so that's nice. That got us to about halfway leveled up. I'm just going to grab these while we're here, and then we're going to see if there are any... We'll see if there's any, like, quests nearby that I can do. Uh, let's see here. So did I grab all his quests? No, one more quest at the top. So, need help with that. Consider it done. Okay, so what... So, we have a level 10 quest right here. So, let's go ahead and set the waypoint there. And let's take care of whatever this quest is. I think this is... So, this is the Ghost of the Gourds Harvest Ripe Pumpkins on Pierlo's Farm. So, I'm assuming just right down here. Pumpkins to harvest. Yeah. Go ahead and harvest some pumpkins. So we need to harvest eight pumpkins. And then... Hopefully the quest is, like, really close turn in. If not, we'll look at some of the other quests in the area, see if there's any other ones that we can do quickly. What am I seeing on my map? Oh, it was just the marker over the level 10. Okay, I was like, what is that? Alright, let's grab some more pumpkins here. Uh, like I said, the, today's episode, there wasn't really anything for me to record. There was one section that I probably should have, but it was over and done with really quickly. Um, so at this point, uh, this, is, this is the episode for today. There really wasn't anything else for me to get for you. Um, all I did was progress, and a lot of it was just running around, not fighting a whole lot. So yeah, there just wasn't a whole lot in terms of content today. 
uh, in the time that I played. So hopefully tomorrow I'll get to a level that we can do battle on the prairie, and then that's the that's what I want to start that video with. Or that's what I want to do tomorrow's video on is battle on the prairie, because it sounds like it's going to be actually pretty good. Uh, pretty decent. It's killing three different people, uh, so they should be tougher boss type enemies. I would imagine. Okay, how the heck do I get outside there to get that quest? Guess I gotta go up and around. <laughs> but I'm guessing that quests, side quests here, are going to be our best route to getting experience. Uh, killing enemies that are like level 12, 13 yield about a little bit less than a percentage point. And so I think best bet is probably to try to complete these side quests that give us thousands of XP points uh, for relatively easy work. Uh, so let's see here. What does this guy want us to do for him? Uh, he needs to win the spot. Oh, we just need to beat him. Okay. Okay, well, I beat him. <laughs> like that, like that. That's like a super easy 3,000 XP. Put it in the bank. And see, that was like a percent and a half. Um, you can see down at the bottom, right below the health bar, it'll tell you how much experience that contributed. And so let's go back up here and try to turn this quest. Is there any quests on the board here? Doesn't look like it. Trying to also gather a little bit and do stuff like that along the way it gives you 115 XP, which is less than 0.1%, but it's still decent enough. Like, it's enough experience that I think it's kind of worth it. But at the same time, it's also like, okay, it's not a whole lot of experience. Okay, so we can do that. Collect our 6,000 rewards. So that was 3.3% for that really quick... Uh, experience gain. Where was the fast travel? Okay, so our fast travel is up there. Um, we do have a pair of quests up here that we could take care of. So I'm going to go up here and let's take care of these quests. Then we might fast travel from there down to here. Try to grab up these quests. Actually, these are all quests that we can do. So yeah, that's definitely what we're going to do down there. So we need to collect samples and stuff like that. Um... And then we might come up here, try to finish those off, and then go and turn those quests in. I think that'd probably be a good spot to end today's video on. Uh, I think that would probably get us to, like, the 30-minute mark, depending. But yeah, this is kind of kind of where we are at this point, is grinding out different quests here and there. So I think, yeah, we want to go up here. Just gotta grind out these side quests, get that experience, and help progress us towards hitting hitting the level that we need. And also the equipment. So we get an Emperor's Roots reward box and 22,000 experience. So I don't even know what quest this is. Uh, I, I think I already completed this. Can I turn it back into you? Oh, uh, no. Okay. Where is that quest? I don't even know where that quest is. Okay, well, anyway, let's grab, let's finish these. Let's finish these quests up. Um, search Castra Magnus for a skeleton altar. Oh, that's something I have to, like, do. Oh, it's, I gotta do it over here, okay. It's over here with the level 5 quest. But uh, I do want to do that level 20, that one that rewards 22k. don't really know what that... Am I supposed to kill... I don't really know. So the level 5 and 1 quest are like right here. But I don't really know. Does it just want me to... Let me find that level 5 quest. So it's... Oh, okay. So we need to obtain haunted fragments. So yeah, we need to kill these things. So, can you all kite up for me here? Hello? Kite up? Thank you. Mummy, come here. Alright. And with that, we should absolutely slaughter these things. I mean, they shouldn't be any, any real fight. My gear is like 
I think my gear is, like, really good for the level that I'm at. Like, I, I don't think my level is, like, I don't think my level is great, but I think, like, gear for a level 10, it's really good. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's pretty decent loot for this level. So I think you can go below where I am right now because there's a lot of stuff that points down. So I think, I think there's a way, there's something below. See like one kill on one of these guys is 800 experience. I'll let it pop up at the bottom. So that's like 1% for a kill on one of these guys, which not terrible, but not good why like in the later ones you can get about one percentage point per kill um in the area that i'm at like i'm obviously not killing these guys for the experience but we'll kill them in an attempt to complete a quest because while i'm trying to complete that quest i am getting experience so that's always nice did a car attract a crowd now At some point here, I will actually get down like a rotation of spells, but I don't even know. I don't even know if that rotation of spells is like a thing. Like, is that going to become a prevalent thing that I need to worry about in the future? Or is it just kind of do your combos, whatever combo you can get off, get it off, and then go from there? So, luckily, the turn in for this quest is literally right here. So, we can turn this in. Don't think this reward is actually too great, but nonetheless, yeah, 4,000 in an armor fortification, not great, but something easy that we can get done. Now, I want to figure out where the heck the quest that I just got is, because that one paid a lot, and I think it would be something good for the episode if I did something... Um, more so it's this one right here so it's arena wraith nature wraith of nature so if i zoom out is it going to show me so i'm gonna have to find it on the map great we're looking for a level 10 quest okay hold on let me see Complete the Emperor of Roots Arena Challenge. So it doesn't even like... Does it not show it on the map? Um... Does not show me on the map. I'm going to assume I have not gotten to that location yet? But that seems kind of wild, but... Does not show up on my map, so I'm just gonna chalk it. I'm gonna chalk it for now, so... Back to the original plan, which was to come all the way down here, I think. Yeah, come all the way down here. So we need to go to the nearest teleport, which is right in front of us. And then we can go from there. All right, so teleport. Head down here. And then we'll dip a left and grab those quests. See, see, well, we'll do those quests because I think I have all of those to complete. So, which way do we need to go? Yeah, we need to go this way. See about doing these quests. We'll grab them all and then see. So we have Lydia here. Looks like there's probably not a quest cap. I don't think I've hit it yet, so I'm gonna assume there is no side quest cap. So I need to be, I need to grab whatever side quests I see when I see them, and then when we get to a point like this, we can go back and cash them all in, all the ones that we did or that we were close to completing. We can go back and cash them in. Because right about now we are running short on experience so i think i need to take more time into doing side quests and it'll be good yield on gold and all of that different stuff so that's the biggest thing that i've learned so far playing through this is that 
a lot of it is we need to have uh, we need to do side quests and save up um, save up our uh, experience and be able to catch them in. So it looks like we have four things or three things down here. There's also a couple of level 15 quests. So I don't know if I can really do those. We could try this level 14. So let's go down here. Okay, can it stop knocking me over? Can I, hello? Can I set a, wait, okay. I was gonna say, can I set a waypoint please? Okay, so we're gonna give these a try. If we can complete these, we will call it an episode. Whether we can complete these or not, we're going to try them. I should be able to handle level 14s. you got to be a little bit careful, but I think that I can handle them. Okay. So, I, I'm not sh so we need to collect these samples as well. Okay, let me kill them. I guess I can't... I can't get, I can't get that through the damage. I thought I could collect, uh, I could just get, um, uh, hyper armor through collecting, but I guess that's not the case. So we need to just, there's just all sorts of samples that I need to collect, so, okay, corrupt forest spirit, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Alright, there we go. I don't know why this is rated a level 14 quest, unless there's a part 2 that goes to a harder area. Because this is, like, really easy. Collect the samples. Hey, this is easy peasy. Just slaughter the unicorns, collect the samples. Hey, okay, that unicorn ran away from me. We need to steal Unicorn's blood, which is the one part that I'm not quite understanding, but... I think I can... Yeah, I can kill these things one-on-one -on -one before they can even move to make an attack on me. I guess I'll blink strike, why not? Alright, let's collect this. Hello, collect the sample, thank you. Okay, that's four out of eight. Oh, is the oh the poacher almost got an attack off. Almost almost was impressed, poacher. Almost was impressed. Hey, you are so annoying. Why is it on my hold on, why was it on my there we go. I was gonna say, why on earth was it on my emotes, not my potions? I must have hit up some point on accident. Loot. This is weird. this is just a collect the samples quest. So that's five out of eight. Hello everybody, if you want to come over here next to the unicorn for me, we'll all just get hit with the ice. Kill the unicorn first. And there we go. E Z Hazy. Collect sample. Oh, there's a. I, I just can't. I don't think I can kill that thing. I would kill the loot thing, the loot shibiki by myself if I could. But I honestly don't think I can, so don't really think there's a point. Collect the sample. So we're at 5 out of 8. This is literally just sample collecting. Six out of eight. What are we on the flowers? The level 14 quest. Seven out of eight. So we need one more flower, which is gonna be right here. Corrupt forest spirit, who's gonna come and be annoying. Okay, so let's collect the sample. So that completes that. Now we just need to collect the dung piles. If everybody could just leave me alone, that would be sweet. Thank you. So we need one more of those. I'm going to try and attack the stupid treasure shibiki. I don't think I can do enough damage to it to kill it, but 
Well, hold on. I'm gonna collect this dung pile real quick. Don't mind me, Treasure Shibiki. Alright, come here. Stop running. Stop running. There we go. Yeah, like I did 1% of damage to it. Like, I can obtain some free gold from it, but like, I don't even think, I don't think I can kill that. Okay, honestly. Honestly don't think it's a realistic thing to try to kill this treasure shibiki. I'd love to. But I don't even think like right here. Uh maybe I can. Okay, I did. I mean I've done 4% of damage, 5% of damage. Uh there's someone here to help me, maybe, but still, we're just two people trying to kill this treasure shibiki. And I just don't think we can. It. The treasure shibiki is great. I love killing the treasure shibiki, but at a certain point, I gotta take the gold. I mean, I could probably spend way too much time trying to kill this treasure shibiki, but a lot of the time with the treasure shibiki, it just feels like, can we lead them to the guards and have them help us? somehow convince you treasure should be key to go up a little bit we have got him down to 20 percent of his health gone but it's still like guards you're not gonna help us kill the treasure should be key you guys suck there we go well i got him down well if you lead him lead him back to this point you will find help because this is a place where people have to come and there he's off. I feel like the kill is almost... Oh yeah, here we go. We led him to a bunch of people. Great. Sweet. Okay, so we will kill the treasure shibiki now. Come back, little buddy. Heal. The reward you get from killing him is far better than the reward... Um, of picking up gold. Like, as much as I like to pick up the gold, when you actually kill him, that's the real reward. No. And he's off. Come back here, buddy. I got your guy. I got your guys' help in stunning him to death. My one attack does so much damage to him. back here. I wish the guards would help. I feel like that would be kind of OP, but he did run here. They will attack everything else that comes here. Come back here, little buddy. 6%. Yep, easy cleanup. The treasure should be he doesn't give you too much experience when you kill him, but he's heavily worth killing. we kill him? Yeah, we killed him. Nice. So, yeah, armor, weapon, fortification. I did get some... Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Um, no, 234. So I need to kill, like, two more treasure shibikis, and then we can complete... We can upgrade our weapon, which would be enormous. Would be, honestly, way bigger than enormous, but this, 6,000 XP. Nice. So that gets us to 72%. And then we got Nessa up here, which I can turn... Hopefully this is a little bit more. Eh, 6,000 again. Got some pants and whatnot. Nothing crazy. Uh, Jake also has another quest for us, which is nice. Mole crickets. 3,000, I mean, that's not great, but, I mean, experience is experience. I'll probably go down here and try to... Uh, mess with these level 15 quests on my own. I think I've kept you guys long enough for today. We'll take a look at the items that I got, see if they're better than anything I have. No, that is not anywhere near better. Uh, that's close, but not better. And that's like the exact same and not better. So yeah, none of those items were quite worth using, but we are getting there, guys. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to do Battle on the Prairie. If I can at least get to, like, 300 or something like that, that would be great. Um, but I do need to get better gear as well as better um, experience to get to, like, level 12. I think level, like, 12 or 13. 
in like 280 gear, I could probably take care of those quests. But uh, that's what we're going to be pushing for. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys then. Peace.